How could a single man wield unimaginable wealth, power, and influence shaping the fate of a nation? J.P. Morgan had it all. He owned the first billion-dollar company, dominated the country's most profitable industries, and even saved the U.S. economy from the brink of collapse. Hated by some, admired by others, there will never be another man quite like J.P. Morgan. This is his remarkable story. John Pierpont. Morgan was born in Connecticut in 1837 into a world of privilege. His father, Junius Spencer Morgan, was a wealthy banker who aimed to groom John into a financier. However, John's early life was marked by sickness. He battled debilitating health issues, from severe coughing fits to migraines and seizures. Rather than playing outside like other children, John immersed himself in financial statements, setting the stage for his extraordinary future. By the age of 19, John entered the world of finance. His father's connection secured him a position on Wall Street, where he meticulously studied and reported on the financial and political affairs of America, still an emerging market at the time. John's father, concerned about his son's impulsiveness, feared he was not cut out for finance. In 1861, at the age of 24, John embarked on his own financial journey, founding his own company which also served as an agent for his father's bank in England. Tragedy struck soon after as his beloved wife, Amelia Sturgis, succumbed to illness just four months after their wedding. John, devastated, threw himself into his work. During the American Civil War, John found an opportunity to profit. While avoiding military service, he engaged in war profiteering, making substantial gains. Although unpopular with the public and government, in 1871, John joined forces with financier Anthony Drexel to establish Drexel, Morgan & Co., later renamed J.P. Morgan & Co. He revolutionized the American railroad system, employing a strategy known as Morganization to consolidate small railroad companies into powerful conglomerates under his control. He went on to own one-third of all American railroads. But John didn't stop at railroads. In 1901, he purchased Carnegie Steel for $480 million, creating U.S. Steel, the world's first billion-dollar corporation. Controlling two-thirds of American steel production, John solidified his dominance. In 1893, a devastating economic depression hit the U.S., leading to a financial panic. Foreign investors were draining American gold reserves, threatening economic collapse. President Cleveland turned to John for a solution. John formed a private syndicate that bought $65 million in gold bonds, averting disaster, but raising questions about his motivations. In 1907, another financial crisis loomed, with banks on the brink of bankruptcy. President Theodore Roosevelt called on John to stabilize the situation. John's plan injected capital into struggling banks, restoring public confidence in the banking system. However, John's immense power and influence drew scrutiny. He testified before the Pujo Committee, becoming the face of Wall Street's Money Trust. This led to the establishment of the Federal Reserve to regulate finance. In 1913, at the age of 75, John passed away, leaving behind a legacy of unprecedented influence. His son continued to expand the family business, and today, J.P. Morgan Chase stands as the world's largest bank by market capitalization, a testament to John's enduring impact. Beyond his business acumen, John was known for his intimidating appearance. He suffered from a skin condition called rosacea, which made his nose red and disfigured. Rhinophyma further enlarged his nose and covered it in pimples. He was self-conscious about his looks and often had portrait artists alter his nose to appear more normal. John's towering height, aggressive demeanor, and commanding presence made him an imposing figure. His influence extended to politics as he maintained close ties with presidents, including Theodore Roosevelt, despite their differences. Ironically, John was due to board the Titanic for its maiden voyage, but withdrew at the last moment due to health issues. Fate intervened, sparing him from one of the deadliest maritime disasters in history. Today, the institution he founded, J.P. Morgan Chase, stands as a testament to his enduring legacy. With an estimated $3 trillion in assets after 200 years of consolidation in the banking industry, J.P. Morgan Chase is the biggest bank in the world by market capitalization. It continues to play a pivotal role in the global financial landscape.
If you enjoyed this journey of JP Morgan's life, give this video a thumbs up and leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to never miss any updates. Thanks for watching.